been a few weeks, hasn't it? I actually nearly made a reaction video last week. Sorry, just gagging on my originality. Says the B Tech Jack, mate. I'd like to say I've been productive over the last few weeks, but basically just bought some new jeans. And actually, side note, whose fucking idea was spray on jeans? Because I drunkenly ordered some and now. The camera cannot go any lower than that, I swear to God. Before we get started, make sure you're hitting that subscribe button with notifications on. Help me get to 1k by June and be told when I make a new video. Anyway, today we're doing five people that everybody hates. Number five, the got a spare cig guy. Believe it or not, I often smoke on a night out. It's mostly because that's where all the decisions are made. If I wait inside, suddenly everybody else comes in. Alright mate, we're gonna go glow rooms now. Because I wasn't out there to go, um, we're fucking not. But every time I'm out there, the instant I get a cigarette out, I'm basically fending off attackers. Hi mate, have you got a spare cig? Sorry mate, this is my last one. Two minutes later, I'm just fucking kicking people. Like, piss off you scroungy twat. Get your own Lambert and Butler. Also, a spare cig. Yeah mate. I paid a tenner for these, but I only wanted the one, you can have the rest. Number four, the anything you can do, I can do better guy. How annoying is he? Anything you've done or got planned, his is better than yours, okay? Found myself having to get creative, I'm stood there testing this prick. So I'm heading out to America for a week in June. That's interesting, I'm also going there, but for two weeks. Did you see that Panic at the Disco have announced a new tour? I did see that, in fact I'm seeing them on my second week in America. Great. Shall we go to the pub tomorrow for the match? I'd love to, but I actually have tickets to see it at the stadium, so... Of course you do. Apparently Pixie Lot is going to be performing before kickoff. She's basically my celebrity crush. She's actually my new girlfriend. How do you think I got the tickets? Oh, why not? I just got to kill myself. Please be advised. It can sometimes take longer than this for them to kill themselves, so don't give up too early. Number three, the person who judges everybody else instead of addressing their own issues. Why, why isn't it cut to the next bit? Oh for fuck's sake! Number two! Youtubers who pretend they don't care about numbers. And by that of course I mean all small YouTubers. Don't fucking lie to me. You can pretend to yourself and to your audience, but it's common sense. Why do I fucking plie then? Why do I know what a plie is? You don't spend an entire day making a video, maybe longer, and then be perfectly happy when it only gets one view. Well, I make videos because I enjoy making videos. But that's lucky because nobody else likes it. There's only one view on that video and it was you. It makes sense to care about the numbers. If you don't, how are you going to find an audience anyways? Do you think Joe Sugg with over 8 million subscribers is perfectly happy only just about hitting 1 million views per video? Do you think Cal Freezy with over 3 million subscribers is perfectly content with only breaking a million views once in the last 3 months? Jesus, what happened to Cal Freezy? I'm not saying you should spend the next week depressed because you lost a few subscribers when you uploaded your new video. But use it to your advantage. If your new video isn't getting as many views as usual, maybe make a different type of video. Do you think it's a coincidence that I make these list videos? Of the last four videos I've made that weren't lists, do you want to know how many have broken 60 views? None of them. YouTubers are in the service industry, they're just overpaid. And finally, number one, people my age who share fake racist posts. You've seen those spammy posts. Tag somebody and they owe you £10. The most annoying ones are the racist ones. The people who share them are definitely either closet racists or idiots. I say that like there's any distinction between the two. Someone on my Facebook shared a picture the other day that said Muslims are trying to get the UK to ban sniffer dogs because they offend them. Your bombs offend me more. I think the dogs can stay. That just makes sense. I mean, dogs are famously banned by all Muslims. Not like it took me a 10 second Google search and a click on the first link to find what you're reading right now. Also, what logic is the original poster using? Well, if you've got your bombs, I'm keeping me fucking beagle. Blinks of Bista are no longer taking bookings from anyone from the Islamic faith, whether you are UK granted with passport or not. Nice grammar there, proud British person. Sorry, but time to put my country first. Simmer down, Linda. Whether they're UK granted with a passport or not. They just hopped over the fence, mate. What does she think is going on? Hey, man. Do you want to go do some ISIS stuff today? Hey, I'd love to, but you know how cranky I get when I haven't had my threads done. I know. I've been putting off for weeks. I'll just make an appointment. Hang on. What? Well, my schedule just opened up, and I know exactly where we're going next.
Mum, where's my attacking jacket? Hello advertisers, it's nice to watch you leave. Japan has been at peace with the US since August the 9th, 1945. It's time we made peace with the Muslim world. It's a Muslim world this. All them Islam's coming over here, taking our jobs. But now you've got a decision to make, because if all the Muslims are coming over here and taking our jobs, that makes us the Muslim world. We need to bomb ourselves. Good plan, guys. You've thought this through. Then, of course, we'll have to move to a different country, but you'll be fine. You can still drink your favourite beer and get a kebab on your way home, wearing your Adidas tracksuit bottoms and a Nike hoodie. Because here's a bit of pill for you to swallow. You're an undercover foreigner. <laughs> Dramatic music is appropriate. This started out so whimsical. Hope oh, you enjoyed this video. Got a bit ranty at the end there, but who cares? No one. If you did enjoy this video, then make sure to leave me a like down below because it really helps me out. And comment down below anybody specifically that you hate. You click this button in the middle of the screen to go subscribe to my channel and turn notifications on to be told when I make a new video and help me get to 1k by June. You click the box on the left of the screen to go see my most recent upload and you click the one on the right to go and see five things I don't understand about sex, which is a video I actually made.